Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. He's Burner. He's Red. I got it right. Yes. Um, Wakfu episode one. Yep, we decided, we decided to go back to that for, for this recording session, and I have to say, the animation, part of it held up, part of it not so much. Yeah, like, the character designs just feel kind of lacking, especially on Ava and Percival. Yeah. Whatever, his name's confusing. I just started calling him Tristan. We're watching the sub now, so we'll be... Hopefully we'll have a better idea of what the hell his name is. Yes, also something I really like and dislike, before we get into the plot and everything, one thing we actually noticed back when we still do reactions, when we got the episode, the voice, the actually pointed out to Red that several scenes in the episode we watched for the sub were missing in the dub. There are actually several details that were in the original show that were sadly taken out for some reason when they were dubbing it over. I guess time is money, so they couldn't pay the actors all that time for these small little extra scenes. All right, so, so, what's your example? Like, what, what, what was the one thing that was included here that wasn't in the dub? Oh, for one thing, that, um, when the rule enters the, um, and it goes to set up the counter, there's actually a tag that, I mean, not a tag, a, um, placard. placard with his name on it. That wasn't in the original, uh, dub. So, yeah, that's one little detail. I'm pretty sure there are more, but again, it's been, I think it's been about two years since I watched the show, the first episode, so I can't remember everything exactly. Alright, so the general plot... Well, one other thing is that Rublex really didn't suit that first line about, uh, stop thinking the trophy. Alright, so, on to the plot. Yes, so it starts with a whoosh... A portal in mist. Uh, a dude shows up with a baby carriage. Did and you say his name this time? Uh, Gru Lorgan? Congrats, you, you, this is the first thing that you say Gru Lorgan properly. Well, it's because I've been using him for a D&D &D adventure. Ah. Uh, so anyway, so Gru Lorgan shows up, and he just starts taking Hugo, who's in the baby carriage somewhere, and then Nock shows up, and is like, bitch, I want your wok foo. Oh, yes, a little note for the initiative, for the uninitiated, who, for God knows what reason you're watching this, Wakfu and its other series, Dofus, are actually based off a series of MMOs and a board game got by the titles of Wakfu and Dofus. So, one thing about the series is, it'll mention a lot of things that will never get explained. One thing is, they mention someone, they mention something called Ogre's Chaos. Ogre's Chaos is very important to the franchise, but never gets explained in the show. Well, not till like, very later. Up until know. they go to beat up Ogrest. Yeah, pretty much up until they go to beat up Ogrest, it's never explained. <laughs> except for that one OVA about Ogrest. Yeah. Maybe we should just do an episode going over all the various details. It's probably going to be more with you than me. But anyway. Yeah, that'd be fun. So, Nox shows up, tries to beat up Grugalorgren, and Grugalorgren just smacks a bitch. Oh, just want to explain who Nox is, for though, right, can't do anything. Nox is the villain of season one, and Grugalorgren is... The hero, question mark? Yeah. Who is the hero of Wakfu, now that I think about this? Hugo. He's the main character. I would call him the hero... Uh, one thing he I, tries his best to be heroic. <laughs> yes, we will say this now. The heroes lose a lot of fights in this series. Yeah, I, I, I would say the main cast and crew are heroes. They're not very good at it, but they try. They have their hearts in it. I just keep calling them adventurers because they lose a lot of fights. Yeah, the heroes don't always have to win. But so anyway, so Nox, like I said, is the villain of season one. He just wants to eat as much wakfu as possible. Just like... <laughs> Yes, eat because, as we later find out, that's how he survives, among other reasons. Yes. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't need to eat nearly as much wakfu as he's actually consuming, yeah. but he wants it for other nefarious purposes. We can actually explain that now, because they never actually say what it is in the show. Yeah, they, yeah, it's, it's only Yeah, they special. never actually explain why Nox is really, they give hints, but they never explain, say, he's just trying to get his family back. Yeah, he wants to travel back in time to when his family was alive and save them. Yeah. So... That's what makes him such a great villain, really, in my opinion. Yeah, he's so tragic. Because he all he wants is his family back. As yes, especially considering he has his own special, which explains his backstory some. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll get more in detail about that later, but again, this is something they never actually explain out. They maybe we'll rewatch the special and do that. But anyway, yeah. carry on in the plot. Um, For what, there is a plot. Yeah, not much of a plot here in the first episode. It's just introducing to everything. So then, uh, Guru Lorgran finds Ali Bear and Rule, sees Ali Bear as a fucking awesome dude, and is like, I'm gonna give you this baby. And he gives him the baby, along with a message, letting him know that Yugo's very important. Then we Even cut- if he somewhat lies in it. Yeah, then we cut forward, like, 10, 12 years. Uh, actually, we never know what age Hugo starts off as, because he looks no older than Chibi, who starts off as, I guess, zero or one. We cut forward about a decade or so. Yeah, because... Hugo's now a, a reasonably grown-up kid. Ali Bear's grown a bit older. Yada, yada. Yeah, here's actually a pretty funny detail that 
I think I had to explain to you at one point that Hugo looks incredibly young, doesn't he? Yeah. We actually had explain explain to this in a set of OVAs, but Hugo's actually 12. He looks about 8. Okay, so it's been 12 years. Yeah. More or less. Let's just say he started off at 0, so 12 years. Um, so then, uh, yeah, it's just, like, little snippets of them, uh, running the inn. Uh, Hugo actually manifests on his powers by throwing out a portal, and then, uh, Tristepen shows up, fused with Rubilex. Ah, uh, Rubilex. And shit goes down. And that's about all that happens. Yeah, it's not really a plot-heavy episode, it's more so just to, introdu to introduce everything, because Wakfu is not about characters, it is about world. Yeah, and I would say that's probably why I wasn't super invested the first time I watched. Yeah, because there's not really much to get there, invested not a, into. Yeah, there's not a ton of character, there's not a ton of plot, it's just kind of interesting stuff happening. It's worth watching, but it doesn't grab you and pull you in, like My Little Pony did. Yeah, I mean, even I had to admit that when I first watched, because I watched the first episode, and I said, eh, that didn't say much, I'll just go to the second one, see what happens. I watched the second one, got a little bit more interested, and I decided to just keep watching, because I watch things in bin sessions, and as both Red and I will tell you, it is a very good series. Oh, yeah. It, it is one of those shows where it doesn't start the best, but it does get good. When we're watching through, why don't we try to find a good point for people to start? Because the first episode is not necessarily the best point to start. I'm trying to think what is the best point to start, because really there is no real plot for the series aside from Hugo trying to find his family until, I think, episode 12 where Knox finally comes back. Yeah. So... I guess, actually, I would say... No, we have rewatched it. Yeah, I guess we say season two because all the characters are fully introduced in that one and we get the general plot along with Knox. Yeah. Episode one really doesn't do much, but episode two really does explain a bit. Yeah, but it's there. Wasn't bad. I mean, we watched it again and we didn't. We had a good time doing it, so it gets the thumbs up. Yeah. Anything uh, else you'd like to say? Uh, for this episode, no, that's just about it. See y'all later. Bye.